I know I've been, uh, I've been driving recklessly, getting arrested, smoking weed, abandoning monkeys, and urinating publicly. But my biggest regret is plowing my Maserati into Jeff Ross's Saturn in the parking lot, man. <laughs> and, uh, Jeff, I feel really bad because I don't know where you're gonna sleep tonight, man. <laughs> Look, I'm new to comedy, but here's a joke, all right? What do you get when you give a teenager $200 million? A bunch of has-beens calling you a lesbian for two hours. <laughs> You guys were all really funny tonight. Um, when we were looking for a roast master, we called Jamie Foxx, uh, Chris Rock, and they both couldn't do it. Um, then I had a great idea. Let's call Kevin Hart and see if he has Dave Chappelle's number. <laughs> no, I have huge... <laughs> he didn't have it. He didn't have it. Kevin, you were awesome tonight. I have huge respect for Kevin Hart. Kevin loves seeing himself on the big screen, and for him, that's an iPad mini. <laughs> Sorry. Kevin is so short, he calls Lil Wayne, Wayne. <laughs> uh, I love Kevin Hart's career plan. Do everything Martin Lawrence did, only shittier. <laughs> and Martha, thanks for coming. I know that's probably something you don't do much of anymore. Uh, Natasha Legero. This is my first time seeing you perform. You were really great, even though you didn't shoot out a single ping pong ball like Snoop promised. <laughs> and Jeff Ross, thanks for being here, man. Jeff, you look like the emoji you send when you want to tell someone you have food poisoning. <laughs> uh, uh, Chris Lee is my favorite comedian, and I'm lucky to call him a friend. Chris actually brought me on stage at one of his shows, and uh, it was really cool. It was the first time I got to see what it was like to perform for eight people staring at their phones. <laughs> I'm a huge fan of Chris D'Elia. Chris gets a ton of girls. You wanna know why? Because I'm a big fan of Chris D'Elia. <laughs> What's up, man? I knew you would show up for me tonight. I feel like I've known you my whole life, but that's just because you look like the Mr. Potato Head I had as a kid. Uh, Luda and I had, uh... That's good. That's good. Luda and I had a lot of hours making the song Baby together. In fact, he told me it was the only baby he ever made on purpose. Of course, I had to have one of my favorite people in the world here tonight, Shaquille O'Neal. Thanks for coming, man. I love you, dude, but how in 19 seasons have you only made one three-pointer? I've hit more pedestrians with my car. <laughs> and Hannibal Burris, thank you so much for being here. I don't really know much about you, but from what I've been hearing, I hope you don't know much about me either. <laughs> Snoop Doggy Dog, what's up, man? He's way too shy to admit this, but he was actually the Billboard's top male artist the year I was born. <laughs> and look at you now, Snoop. You're one of the 10 dudes at my roast, sitting right next to Martha Stewart and that Hannibal guy. How cool is this? <laughs> so cool. You made it. How do you, man? How do you? Before I go, I want to thank everyone for tonight. This roast was a dream of mine. I especially want to thank all my fans, the dais, and everyone watching at home. I turned a lot of people off over the past few years, but I know I can still turn out good music and turn everything all around. You have my word, I will not end up broken, pathetic, bitter, or sitting on the dais of somebody else's roast. <laughs>